San Diego Comic Con 2018 Exhibit Hall. This is part three of my live stream series. In this one, I'm going to be walking you all from the independent press area, which is aisle about 2,300, to the video game section. This is part three, part one, which I did yesterday, that took you through the big booths, that took you through DC and Marvel and those sorts of things. Earlier this morning, I took you through uh, the artist's alley and a lot of the small anime artist booths. I kind of ended at the middle to break for lunch, and now I'm continuing. So if you want to see some of those other things, check out those other streams. I'm going to flip this camera to the forward camera so that now you can see what I see as I walk around here. And this will be a pretty slow, detailed walkthrough, just like my other ones, where we're going to take a look at the booths and see what we see. Much as I'm walking around because I have not seen them all yet. Right here we have Hometown Productions. And there will be times during this live stream where I'm quiet just because we're looking at the booths and there's not much to say. Soul Stealer. How are you doing today? I'm good. You won't steal my soul, will you? No. That's good. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Yeah, need that extra music to go with it. I like it. <laughs> that was the soul stealer. This is the soul survivor with no you, just an arrow. That's a what? Book arrow. The book arrow. No, the book I wrote. The book you wrote. Excellent. Sorry, it's very loud in here. How are you doing today? How was it? Okay, I was like, revisiting this. Or you're, stalk, or you're stalking that guy. Okay. Yeah. You. Oh, yeah, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> See? She is stalking you. It's okay if your girlfriend stalks you, right? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Thank you. And this is a great thing here holding Dr. Cthulhu. Look. Dr. Cthulhu, he talks to the Elder Gods. Tell me about Dr. Cthulhu Little. Dr. Cthulhu Little, a combination of the story that we know of a, an innocent doctor who speaks to the Elder Gods from mashing up the stories of Elton Brown and, and H.P. Lovecraft in the strangest and most bizarre of ways. So the old ones have come, they have come back, and he can speak to them in this. Taking you through a vast adventure of time, space, and madness. Dr. Cthulhu with his assistant Zenobia Bishop and his faithful, um, we'll call him a companion, Farnsworth. <laughs> Excellent. This book debuted here at uh, here at San Diego Comic Con, done by the art by the incredible Mark Wheatley, written by the talented Jeff Foxen. Well, it's very nice. Well, thank you for sharing. Happy I appreciate. I appreciate it. Happy to help. And if you like, I'll also tell you, happily talk about the book of mine here, which is a benefit book we've done for Planned Parenthood, which is up for an Eisner Award tonight for Best Story. Very good. Well, thank, thank you very much. Happy to help. Have a great Comic Con. Take care. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Bye, Dave. <laughs> great guy. That's one of the things I love about Comic Con. I love the passion that people have for their books and their art. This is Hillbilly and Albatross, the Goon Tiki Mugs. I've noticed that Tiki Mugs is kind of like a thing here at Comic Con this year. Hillbilly, Spook House 2, Galactatron. And for those of you who joined the live stream, Chino90 Rodriguez, hello, and Marina Lightwood, hi again. Thanks for joining in. This is Guardian Night Comics with Dave Baker. 
one of the graphic novels, of course, I've read and I looked at instantly, and I'm like, oh, it's the Watchmen. No, it's the shitty Watchmen and the shitty Dark Knight. <laughs> or the F Off Squad or Teenage Switchblade. These look like they're pretty funny. I'll stop by, I'll stop by Author, creator, and Elizabeth. Oh, I was gonna see. How are you doing today? I'm good. Yeah, I was gonna see that. He's going to the time traveler. Christmas cake murder. Ooh, I wonder how that ends. I guess we'll have to look at the book. This is where I started at the Arsenic Lullaby. That's also a great title. I don't know that I'd want that lullaby told to me at night. Thank you. Here we go, we've got Pugly, which I assume is the ugly pug. John Jeff and Assemblance Labs, the sci-fi puzzler. I saw you guys yesterday, good to see you again. Here we have Dark Planet Comics, which has some things about the Twilight Zone. Silver, Rosalind. The supervising animator for the Iron Giant. Oh, very good. Very good. Thank you very much. That's pretty cool. You never know who you're gonna meet at Comic Con. Jeff Smith for Bone. Another classic Comic Con character. You can get Bone stuffed animals. Bone vinyl figures. Oh, you can get the bone big set right here. So yeah, this is her. Oscar wants me to buy him a comic. Might be hard to ship it to you, Oscar. Bo K, hi again. Ricky Spears, that's the uh, the Watchmen one was quite funny. Hello, how are you today? I'm excellent, thank you. Here we have Raphael Navarro, guns blazing. Joshua Warwick, a really excited guy here. And they're getting hugs all around. <laughs> free pandas on cards. Can I have a free panda on a card? All right, I love pandas. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Gustavo Velasquez from Guatemala City is joining in. If you're interested in these pandas, it's a whole set of panda cards. Look at that. One, two, good deal. Keep those for later. Uh, what have we got here? This booth, graphic novels, Liar, Terminal Alice, Scary Fails. Anyway, so I actually got them. I like the title of this booth William O'Neill. Gentleman nerd, artist and writer. Yeah, so that thing's brand new in two weeks. But are you William? Yes, I am. Are you both a gentleman and a nerd? I do try. Extraordinaire, excellent. I love the title you've got up there. Thank you. Yeah. See, 
Gaming with RJ still wants me to make it to the Fortnite booth. And game with RJ, when you tell me what number that is, I will totally get there. Hello! They have a really big comic behind them. Graphic novels getting a thumbs up. Check it out. All right, come to 2104. <laughs> Yeah. If you guys are coming, you should totally come to this booth. That's like a that's a pickle, isn't it? What's his name? Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. All right. Hi, Pickle Rick. Interesting. So if you like Walking Dead, if you like Walking Dead and crossovers, check it out. And so that's Rick from The Walking Dead is a pickle, right? That, no, no? From Rick and Morty. Thank you. Good deal. Somebody should take my nerd card away. You know? Yeah. All right. Thank you. If you are wondering at Comic Con, where's the beef? I found it. Where's the beef? And the incredible origin of milk. <laughs> Bacon. It's like candy, but it's meat. <laughs> this is Monkey Minion Press versus a coloring book of cute combat. You know, coloring books are totally making a com comeback for adults. So you can get your adult things here. <laughs> Comic-Con exclusives. Oh, this is good. It is San Diego, what's it say down there? The Department of Nerd Tourism. I love it. San Diego during Comic-Con week definitely becomes the uh, collection, the nerd capital of the world, I have to say. I feel very comfortable around all these nerds, even though my nerd card for the nerd club definitely is in question. This is the trailer park of terror. That sounds pretty scary. And there's a, there's almost like a zombie skull over there. How you doing today? And Gustavo Velasquez says, our club of 40 is watching the live stream. Hello, Gustavo. We have your Camara Press and Ivory Ghosts. How are you both doing today? Good, how are you? I'm excellent, thank you. So what's great about Camara Press is all of our uh, writers and all of our artists are women. Oh, very good. So we're a little bit of a girl stuff. Very good. All of the writers and artists of Camara Press are women. Good deal. Thank you very much. I'm just repeating it for the live stream in case they couldn't hear you. Okay. Thank you. AIT Planet Lar, making comics better. It looks like an airline. Very good. Thank you. Ooh. Here we have Weed Magic, Future Proof, God the Dyslexic Dog, and Hardcore Henry. How are you guys doing today? Excellent. This is Candlewick Press, The Wizarding World of Movie Magic. They've got Where's Waldo. And there's Where's Waldo there in the back. Spidey fans joined in the live stream. Hello, Spidey fan. Welcome back. 
Tom Zoller Art Studios. Time and Vine. Warning label, Love and Capes. The story of Luke and Lunchy. Uh, this sounds like a kind one. I have the most amazing friends. Aww. And there's Kermit and Kermit's bear friend. <laughs> this booth is the Comic Book Men. Which, it's funny, Comic Book Men is staffed by two women. Yeah, 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 exactly. Me too. And there's a DVD called Elephants in the Room. How you doing? What's up, everybody? I don't even know if this is on me. Or it it is on you. There, there's 45 people on the live stream right now. Wow. All right. Well, welcome to the live stream. Welcome to uh, San Diego Comic Con 2018. My name is Ming Chen. Uh, you might know me from Comic Book Men. Uh, unfortunately, we just got canceled, so uh, that's, that's all right. We have 96 episodes, which you, you can go back and watch, and maybe we'll get picked up somewhere. I don't know, but uh, usually we're shooting this week, ladies and gentlemen. We're not shooting this week, so I got to come here. So the whole making lemonade, our lemons, you know, making the best of it, this is it. So I have not been here in 15 years, and I am having so much fun. I've, I've bought exclusives. All right. I've dropped unreasonable amounts of money. I've, I've seen... TV and movie stars. That's what Comic Con's about, right? Yes, I've had fun. I've gone to parties. I've made new friends. I've done all of this, and I hope you guys can. If you're not here, I hope that's something you can have the same experience. Good deal. Well, thank yes. you much, Ming Chen. What's your site so I can plug it? Uh, it's called Yellow Productions. All right. Yeah. Everybody, you're watching Yellow Productions. You're doing a monumentally great thing. Thank Yellowproductions.com? Uh, it is. Yellow.net with two W's, but the Yellow Productions channel on YouTube. Okay, so. Yellow Productions with two W's yeah. on YouTube and Yellow with two W's dot net. I mean, yeah, there it is. It might be backwards. Just look at this in the mirror if it is and check them out. That's right. Cool. Ming yeah. Chen, thank you very much. That card's for you. All right, I'll give you a pound. Cool. All right, thanks. So if you haven't checked out Comic Book Men, you totally should. It's Ming Chen, pretty cool guy. This is Zombie Tramp and Dollface. Miranda Lightwood says, I love that show. Thank you. Nice. Ming, I just wanted you to know, at least two people on the live stream said they love your show. All right, that's so, two yeah. out of 43. That's uh, all right, better. yeah, that's good. The Adventures of the 19XX. This is like all about airships, old planes, things from time long ago. You can get yourself a patch for Tibet Expedition 1936. Min Cause wants to know what show. He was on the show Comic Book Men with Kevin Smith. So check that out, Comic Book Men. Ming's a super cool guy. Now, over on our left here, there's some people, cosplay people posing. You see this all the time. This is in front of the DC booth, so of course that's why there's Superman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman. Uh, these are uh, no Comic-Con badges, so they definitely could be working the DC booth. But I think pretty impressive cosplay nonetheless. And, of course, people with big cameras. If you want to see some of the best cosplay for Comic-Con, if you're new to my live stream series, I've got an edited video from yesterday that I did the best cosplay from the first day of Comic-Con. You'll find the link in the description to that. You'll also find a link um, in the description to my Comic-Con 2018 playlist where I've got more live streams, live streams of the big booth, live streams of Artist Alley, so check those out. Spidey Fan says his friend is listening and wants me to give a shout out. Spidey Fan's friend, thanks for joining and thanks for watching. Uh, here's a good book. Mr. Negativity and Other Tales of Supernatural Law. A Vampire in Hollywood. Z 
Zoomies, go on, get mental. On the corner here is the healing, which will make you whole. Ten creative teams, five unforgettable heroes. Join the healing. Luchaverse Mass Republic presents, I would say, the perfect wrestling comic book. Interesting. I never thought there would be a wrestling comic book, but indeed there is. The King. Spidey fan asked, did you go to the DC booth? I went to the DC booth in the live stream the first day, but since I'm right next to it, I'll make a walk through the DC booth when I finish the independent press before I walk through the small booths over to video games. This is Lady Death right here. Okay, that completes the independent, uh, the independent press section. Now we'll check out some of the smaller booths on our way to the other end of the convention hall, where the video games are. This is Billy Tucci for She, Return of the Warrior. Ultra Bat asks if I finally found the WWE booth. I absolutely did. I finished the live the early morning, this previous live stream where I did Artist's Alley. I ended that one at the WWE booth. And so I think uh, Mr. Cringe was happy about that. This is the Tick Boutique. He was, right, he was right here. And of course, the Tick's favorite word is spoon. Totally a great word. If you've never seen the Tick, you should. Comic classics. Spidey Fan's friend says I'm awesome. Thank you, Spidey Fan's friend. we got here. This is Bubble Studios. Guys with some red Adidas jackets. From Russia with love. Becoming Russian in three easy steps. How you doing? There's 61 people on the live stream right now. Yeah. Are you guys all from Russia? Yep. All right. Yeah. Is, have you, like yeah. How do you do, comrade? I do very well, comrade. Thank you very much. So you to drink vodka with us. Vodka. We drink, yes. We drink until one of us drops. All right. Drops dead. That's how that works, right? Yeah. Drops dead, the not rest, just passes out. Yes. Drinking, yes. And uh, he played with ten people today, and he's still alive. That's impressive. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. You guys are you guys are like pros at vodka drinking. I came here to drink vodka and meet with some good Americans, and as you see, I have already drunk some vodka. Are very good. Who needs water when you have vodka, right? Absolutely. Are you enjoying your Comic Con? Oh, sure, yeah. All right. Awesome. That's great. You want to become Russian? You just can want to become show Russian? us all our uh, comics. Well, let's let's say some of these people do. What if they do? Okay. You want to become Russian? If you want we can, to become we Russian, we can make you Russian right now. Yeah. Come over here. Okay, I'm coming over here. So, hi, you guys. Hi. So, what you need to do is actually dress up like a Russian. I'm, I'm a bear, so yeah. Okay, yeah. That's how we work. You can wear this, or take the balalaika, or take the vodka. And what you do afterwards is spin this beautiful cycle of names. And here you go. The women that watch it are now the dudes outside, which is perfect. And the guys are 
Get that love can. And that's what you get. Guys, you got yourself a passport for United States of Russia. Welcome. Now there's no going back. Very good. Thank you very much. There was one question for the live stream. Somebody said, ask them if they have Novichok. Novichok. Do we have Novichok? Novichok? That is, is that a type of vodka? I, I think so. Everything is a type of vodka. Oh, all right. Very Even good. Water. Okay. Well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. Dasvidaniya. You have a great con as well. He's like, yeah, what's your piece of So if you want to become Russian, now you know how you can at San Diego Comic Con. The essence of graphics arts, manga. Unpossible cuts. We make fun. Made out of wood. So here they've got wood, wood earrings. You can get like. Batman wooden earrings, banana wooden earrings, all sorts of wooden earrings. Over here, they've got wooden necklaces and wooden bottle openers. A lot of different geeky bottle openers, I have to say. If you had a beer bottle opener in your house that says set phasers to buzz, I think that gets you into the nerd club. I don't know, but I think so. Spidey fan's friend asked if I could go to the Marvel booth. Uh, because I've been there earlier, I'm not heading back that way in this video. If your friend wants to see the Marvel booth, I would encourage them to watch the live stream from this morning. Oh, I never finished that game. You guys together? Or yesterday, whenever I was at the Marvel booth. Neil Adams. Uh, Gustavo says, do you see anything about Spawn? I've seen some Spawn art. Okay, so we'll check out the DC booth because we're right here. A lot of cosplayers in front of this DC booth. Maybe there was like a DC cosplay contest that I missed or something. That's unfortunate. I like to catch those cosplay contests. Here's the DC booth. Ultra Bat says, when you get a chance to visit Mexican Luchador Legend in booth 501. Okay, as I get that way, remind me, and I will stop by booth 501. This is the DC booth. They've got all sorts of figures here. More figures in this case. No worries. Spidey fans, Fred, he will friend said he will subscribe later. Thank you, Spidey fans, friend. I I think the big thing here in the DC booth are the costumes from Shazam. Right there. And then in the back, back there, they've got costumes from Aquaman. Jim Early asks if I've checked out the DC experience at the Hilton. Jim, every time I have walked by there, there has been some like epic line. So I have not checked it out. But they've got like a DC Universe thing back there in the back, advertising the DC Universe, some DC Vertigo stuff. 
uh, DC supervillain creator for Legos. And then, of course, here in the middle, they've got Mad Magazine. All right, that is the quick tour of the DC booth. Korea Food Travel says it is very crowded. It is. Comic-Con is very crowded. There's 130,000 people, attendees that come to Comic-Con, plus there's exhibitors and vendors and security. There are a lot of people at this convention center. Spidey fans' friend asked if Shazam is getting a movie. I would assume so, since they have those things set up at the DC booth. Typically, they only do things like that when new movies are coming out. Raise the stakes. Batman and Catwoman, right there. Gustavo asks, what do I prefer, DC or Marvel? I'm totally gonna give a cop-out answer and I'm gonna say, I think I prefer both equally. I don't know that I really have a preference. I read banned comic books, support the Comic Defense Legal Fund, which is obviously helping out artists if they get sued or things like that. Oh, there's a big Hawkman over there with some Hawkman wings. <laughs> Spidey fan asks if I know what I just did. I don't know, Spidey fan, what did I just do? This is Green Hills Entertainment. And the Hawkman again. Spidey fan says I'm making his friend happy. Excellent, Spidey fan. I'm happy to hear that. If I was making people sad, I'd be doing something wrong. I love your smiley face shirt, by the way. Yeah. Appreciate it. I have a channel on YouTube called Yellow Productions, and I'm streaming with 71 people right now. But the artist, very good. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Yeah. I'm sure they'll respond and say they're good in a moment. You know, there's like that lag of about five or 10 seconds. So it's usually people have something to say when I walk past this way. Well, great to meet both of you. All right, thank you. This is the Cartoon Art Museum. And they're having a sketchathon. It's like a marathon, except a sketchathon. ONI Press. My boyfriend is a bear. The Tea Dragon Society. <laughs> and then ONI Press has some fold up bookshelves. They've obviously got these things because they're easy to check for them to bring. Some more good cosplay here. Carlindo Costa says, I'm from Brazil and thank you to give me a chance to see Comic Con San Diego 2018 in real time. Thank you very much. Uh, Jose asks, what's my favorite part about Comic-Con? I love everything about Comic-Con, but I'd probably say the cosplay, like right here, like people like this, that's my favorite part. It's just, it's interesting to walk around a place that like the movies come to life, and so do the comics. Korea says, I'm from Korea, I like Marvel movies, that's great. Oscar says, Boba Fett, that's right. Spidey fans is coming back a while, and there was a question of, is the Nickelodeon booth the way I'm going? It's the other way. I went through the Nickelodeon booth uh, in one of my previous two live streams, so you can check it out in those. This is the Marvel Hero Within and DC. Yeah. 
How you guys doing? Excellent. Be careful who you hate. It might be someone you love. Coming to you from Prince, the purple rhinosaur. A, I didn't even know rhinosaurs existed. PRISM, a nonprofit organization supporting LGBTQ creators and readers. As a diaspora, we're like, oh, I'm gonna support you. This place is like Cartoon Network. Yeah, it's kind of like a big building with lots of cartoons. Of course, Cartoon Network is one of the exhibitors here at Comic Con, of course. What do we got here? This is um, like collectibles. They've got these uh, framed things that have collectibles about different movies, Guardians of the Galaxy, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Incredible Hulk. B asks, am I on the same floor as the Nickelodeon booth? I am on the same floor, but the exhibit hall is really big. So uh, I'm just not gonna be headed that direction in this live stream. Gary Lockwood, Star Trek and 2001 A Space Odyssey. And they were creating scenes to try to choose the <laughs> Ultrabat asks, are there any all-you-can-eat buffets like Gold Coast Hotel in San Diego? Oh, there are plenty of all-you-can-eat buffets here. I would say most of them are at the Indian casinos that are maybe 30 or 40 miles outside of, outside of downtown San Diego. And then there was a comment earlier that I passed an artist that's a comic book legend. I'm sure I've passed a lot of comic book legends. <laughs> this is Ross Draws. This is, this is a pretty funny booth over here. I don't know, is this funny or is it good? But this is um, soulgeek.com, which is geek dating, the home of geek dating. Any of you single geeks that are looking to date, check out soulgeek.com. Good, I'm all them people. I'm also now speaking Italian. This is the voice actor Dino Onrade and he's the voice actor for all those people, and now Speedy Gonzalez. Also sudden, you know, you can also shoot uh, with a Tommy gun, too. Yeah. But it's like a three light, it's like a... Uh... Oh my gosh, I've played that card a million times. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Would you like to get a sign for him? Um... Yeah, let's do it. I'd like to this one. That's it. He's going to get a signed print for 20 bucks. That's how it works here at Comic Con. Uh, previous Comic Cons, while I've never paid to get a signature, I have paid to get a picture with Brent Spiner, which is Data from Star Trek. Korea Food Travel says, This is my favorite. Thank you. Jose asks if I've seen any Rick and Morty booths or cosplayers. Uh, I'm going to say yes to both. I've seen Rick and Morty around. I don't know about booths, but there's always people cosplaying Rick and Morty. I don't think they made it into my videos, um, but it's almost like almost anything you could think of somebody cosplaying, there likely is somebody cosplaying that. This is the Action Figure Authority. What is the Action Figure Authority? How it works. Package and ship an item to them. They inspect, grade, and case the item, and it's returned to you in an acrylic case. So if you want to store your action figures for a long time and have it graded, check out the 
Action Figure Authority. How are you doing today? Schoolism, education evolved. Online classes, live workshops, artist interviews, free cards, no doubt some art from either teachers or students up there. Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good. How about yourself? Very good. That's good. Very good indeed. Have a good Comic Con. <laughs> this is Kid, the ultimate comic book experience. The kid in you never dies. Enrique asks, can you head to the Funimation booth to see how the lines are? Uh, the Funimation booth is the other direction I was going. And Jim says, Neil Adams is a god when it comes to DC. His Batman work is legendary. Go say hello. Okay, I'll see if I can find him again. Edgar says, say hi to Bobby. Hi, Bobby. The world of Mr. Toast. Mao artist, the art of Mauricio Abril. That's cool. There's Sonic the Hedgehog over there. And here's some kind of Japanese inspired art. There's Totoro. People ask about some of my favorite characters. I enjoy my neighbor Totoro. Edgar asks, what kind of microphone am I using? And I'm just gonna flip this so you can see. I have a lavalier microphone on right here, which is connected into my phone that I'm streaming this on. I got this on Facebook, uh, not on Facebook. I got it on Amazon. If you want me to send you the link of exactly what it is, uh, if you find my Yellow Productions page on Facebook and send me a message, I'll send you the link to it. This is pretty interesting. These are like geek or nerd oven mitts. Edgar says thank you and thank you for all you do. Thank you for watching. Jamie Moore says there is a Galaxy Quest 1. Uh, she has a sign here. Let's see, her company is called Nerdy Novelty Design. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. I have a YouTube channel called Yellow Productions. I have a live stream with 79 people on it. As I was walking by your booth, somebody said, go check out her pot holder. She's amazing. Oh, well, thank you. Whoever yeah. said that. You're amazing. Uh, who said that? Jamie Moore said that. Cool. So can they buy your stuff online? Or? Yes. NerdyNovelTyDesign.com. NerdyNovelTyDesign.com. All right. Right there. And Caesar Olea says, tell her she is so beautiful. <laughs> All right. Have a great Comic Con. Over here is the Christian Comic Arts Society, where they've got, thank you, where they've got Bible Man, David and the Goliath, and Scooter. How are you guys doing? Excellent. Rare Earth Comics, commissions, prints, original stories. Zombie, shark, bear. Is that a zombie shark bear? Yeah, hi, I'm Chris. I'm from Yellow Productions. I have a live stream with 80 people on it right now. Would you like to tell them anything about Zombie Shark Bear? Uh, yeah, it's a comic by our friend, uh, Anthony Andres. You can find it on Tapaster. Uh, it's a comic about a girl who gets bitten by a zombie, a were 
bear and a wear shark. So a girl who gets bitten by a zombie, a wear bear, and a wear shark. Yes. All right. Or maybe not bitten, but infected by a zombie. Okay. Very good. Well, thank it's you very much. A very fun series. To I bet it is. I was repeating it so they could hear, just in case the microphone didn't pick it up. Thank you very much. The Vampire Scrolls. Next to, oh yeah, comics. Oh yeah. Make way for awesome. Patrick Skull in comics. How you doing? A web comic for geeks and their kids. Look at that. Here in the corner, we have Pirate Cove. Outrageous comedy, extraordinary adventure, average Joe. How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? I'm excellent, thank you. Have a good Comic Con. Jamie says, we would love to see the Voltron booth. Jamie, do you know what booth number the Voltron booth is? Oh, somebody said I passed Neil Adams, so I'm going back to Neil Adams. Now this is the, the Sideshow Collectibles booth, by the way, which has some of the, um, I don't know, neatest collectibles. I mean, this booth is massive. It's a massive booth of all these collectibles. There was a question earlier of if I collect anything. Um, I don't know. I used to collect magic cards. I used to collect comic cards. I found myself collecting less and less things. Now I would say I, I end up like collecting video gear. Uh, somebody said it doesn't look crowded right now. It's just not crowded in this section. but the con's definitely crowded. Some aisles are more crowded than others. This aisle, as you can tell, is a particularly wide aisle. Uh, but if you look down that way, you can tell that main aisle is still pretty crowded. Uh, and there was a question, oh here, let's take a look at some cosplayers over here. And then we'll go see Neil Adams. This guy's got a cool visor. It's a neat light up visor. And, uh, then there's Batman right there. It's a pretty convincing <laughs> Batman and Robin. <laughs> Should we go back in? Yeah, sure. Let's see what you Russell. <laughs> Macker's Tube, what's your favorite booth? The Sideshow booth? Hmm. Ultra Bat says, what's your favorite sideshow collectible? Um, I don't know, probably maybe their Star Wars themed stuff. Here's the Neil Adams booth. Edgar says, need to find the option to get a notification when you go live. Edgar, I, A, I assume you've subscribed. If you've subscribed, the subscribe button now would look like a bell. If you click that bell and you click it, then you'll get like a pop-up that'll say, do you want to get notifications? And then YouTube will give you the option of mobile notifications or email notifications. You can uh, decide which one you want, but then you'll get notifications when I go live. And yes, that is Neil Adams signing stuff. Signature autograph, $50 when you buy something at the table. Edgar Bautista says, please say hi to Zima. Zima? Zema? Hi, Zima. Or Zema. Trucho says, does Marvel have a booth? Yes, Marvel has a booth. I went by it a couple times in the first live stream I did. 
that's the one that's just called Exhibitor Hall Tour. That's the two and a half hour one. You'll find a link to that in my video description below. I've already been down that aisle, so we'll go this way. Um, I've sort of got these live tours in three parts. The first live tour, I did the main booths, DC, Marvel, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, all that stuff. Uh, then I did a um, exhibit hall tour this morning of Artists Alley, the artistic booths, uh, and some of the independent vendors over there and the high booth numbers. Thank you, very friendly. We should take a closer look at this with friendly people. Broadsword Comics. Yeah, get out of here. Now they're not friendly anymore. All right. Play a game with Holly. Uh, there was a question of do they have ugly dolls? Yes, there is an ugly doll booth here. I passed it in the first live stream. But yes, I feel like there's ugly doll booths at almost every convention that I go to. And then, uh, so now we're back at square one. So, if you know of anybody that wants They have quite a big booth at Comic Con, actually. Oops, sorry. I'm just bumping into somebody. Fantagraphics, publishers of the world's greatest cartoonists. Uh, see, Dark Knight wants to know if I can give a shout out to Batman. Batman, shouting it out. Hey there, Batman. <laughs> Jose asks if I'm looking forward to any specific panels. Uh, Saturday night, I'm looking forward to the Kevin Smith panel. I'm also looking forward to the Simpsons panel, the American <laughs> Dad panel, and the Family Guy panel. Giant robot right here. Has lots of cool Japanese anime stuff. They've been in my earlier morning one, so I won't give them a detailed one in here, but it's a great place to get Totoro. Why not? This is the art of Rebecca Hicks. Little vampires. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, you got an award from Sci-Fi. Yes, the Sci-Fi Fan Creator Awards. A lovely fan named Lissy uh, nominated me, and I just got an award given to me by Orlando Jones, and so I'm I'm fine. How are you? That's very good. I'm boxing just a little bit. I'm good. That's really good. Awesome. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's significant. That's awesome. I got one up on Chewbacca now. Yeah, that's cool. And it's never too hot for coffee, apparently. This is true. Yeah. It's almost there outside today, though. It is almost too hot. It's gonna be really hot next week, so Ooh, maybe you guys are going home by then, so. Yeah, where's home for you guys? Portland, Oregon. Portland, all right. Well, enjoy Portland. Thank you. It's great to meet you guys, time. yeah. Macker's Tube asks if I will ask Kevin Smith a question. Probably not, because I don't like to get in long lines to ask questions, but is there a question that you want asked to Kevin Smith? This, uh, let's see, Penny Arcade. They've got little magnets here. No, these aren't magnets. These are stickers. Enfu. Hello, how are you doing today? I love those bags. Lucky They're your lucky bags. Yep. I'm gonna see it on this side. These are cool bags. I just love the way this is all printed on there with like all the food. Gustavo says tomorrow is the trailer for Aquaman. Do you know the hour? I do not know the hour for the trailer for Aquaman. But if you go to San Diego Comic Con's website, I bet you could find out. This one is Lava Punch. The Dark Knight asked if I can show some Spider-Man and Batman stuff. I will show whatever is in these aisles, the history of Peanuts and NASA. 
apparently Peanuts and Nuts have entered into a Space Act agreement. I had no idea that Snoopy was like an official character of NASA, but it's all a bunch of space up there. Space things. For Snoopy. That's cool. Jenny Fed says, we'll be there on Sunday. My, my son and I would love to meet you. Well, Jenny, maybe we will bump into each other. Jenny asks if I will be doing a live feed on Sunday. Um, probably not on Sunday, because Sunday is kind of, I feel, a wrap-up day. And I think I'll have covered the whole exhibit hall floor by then. Pocket pandas. I like pandas. What's a pocket panda? The Mostly Daily Panda. Follow the Pocket Pandas on social media. It's a lot of pandas. And here's the zombie playground. This is a funny book title right here. It's The Wrath of the Red-Eyed Guinea Pig. Jenny says she'll look for my yellow shirt. Absolutely, be on the lookout. Ultrabat asks if they've given any freebies. There are tons of freebies at Comic-Con. Some of the best ones come from like Hall H. If you're in some of those halls, when they show certain things, like Sony may give out something to all the people that are in one of their panels for one of the movies. I'll keep going. It's okay. Hello. These, these two like to be on a YouTube live stream. I'm Chris. Hi. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Adventures of Golden ASF, about an amazingly sexy spy who's saving the world from Bandit at a time. All right, very good. The Golden ASS. Let the adventures begin. With all my goodies. There are 92 people on the live stream right now. So yes. if any of you are coming to Comic Con, stop by her small, booth in small row press. 1700. Yeah, small press N06. All right, thank you very much. You all right, all right, and I love your uh, golden eyelashes too. That's very good. Thank you. Oh, Hot Topic. Hot Topic? Okay. That was just my night. Love See Dark Knight. She just gave you her number. She's in the small press section, uh, aisle 1700. If you want to know her phone number, I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, we saw Ghoulish Bunny Studios the other day. How you doing? Doing good, man. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Just Cope. The art of Justin on. These are interesting. These are all like almost old timey looking prints here. And they've got some food inspired earrings. Jenny Fed says, look my friend Ted Washington at Puna Press. Puna Press, he has a stand there every year. I'll be on the lookout. Kylo Ren's gym, get wide. Paige Housen says, thanks for mentioning me in your other video, made my day. Excellent, Paige, my pleasure. Myself, myself says, yeah, gonna be there tomorrow, hope to see those things. Excellent. Lily Pond, a children's book classic. How are you doing today? Oh, <laughs> I've got, no, it's a live stream and there's 94 people on it, but it's all good. Those things happen. Thank you very much. This is the Tired Girl Collective. And there's the sketchbook of a tired girl. Put on your big girl pants, I assume. Black. 
Black Sheep Comics and Skull Bunnies. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. I have not. I've got 93 people on the live stream right now. What would you like to tell them about the Skull Bunnies? Oh, well, Skull Bunnies is uh, basically about the story of the friendship between a girl and her dead bunnies and all the adventures that they go on together to help other people. The story between a girl and her dead bunnies. Well, it's and about the, the friendship between the girl and the dead It's about the friendship. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And you've also got some, like, bunny-inspired... Oh, yeah, spider man spider, bun. spider bunnies yeah. very cool there's See, someone have on the you ever heard of the first issue of spider bunnies? i have not oh, wow. we we have someone on the live stream by the youtube handle of spidey fan and he's really wanted to see anything Spider-Man related. Also, the oh, Sea Dark Knight. Another bun. The amazing Spider Bunny. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Two great things together. Uh, let's see. Oh, another one. Uh, on the live stream, Jenny Fed says, please tell him I like his bunny in the pearl earring. Oh, there's also more here. If you are willing to flip through the, the bin of uh, prints, there's plenty of other spider. Oh, and then to say, I actually technically comic Art inspired bunny paintings. Oh, yeah. Good deal. So if you're at Comic Con over the next couple of days, check out Black Sheep Comics. Or you can follow them online Skull Bunnies, Instagram, blacksheepcomics.com. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. All right. All right. Bye bye. How you both doing today? Good. Bumper boy. Bumper boy gets angry. Uh-oh. I don't want to cross bumper boy. Well, Jenny Fed, if you stop by his booth, you should totally tell him you saw him on the live stream with the guy with the yellow t-shirt. Make him feel good about uh, talking to you all. Zombie bunnies. Here we go. Paige Housen asked if I have any plans of meeting celebrities while I'm here. Uh, probably not, like I haven't signed up for any signatures or things like that, and I think that's something hard to plan on. Lord Blog had a toothache. The great mooncake escape. Many, many mooncakes. It's all good. Hi. What? What is the bean world? It's a most peculiar comic book experience. I've got 104 people on the live stream right now for YouTube. What is the Bean World? It is impossible to describe, but here's the information for that. Okay. And, um, it's a most peculiar comic book experience, and it is far easier to read than it is to explain. All right. There is absolutely nothing else in the comic book universe that you know, and that sounds like so it's actually true. Cool. Well, for those of you who couldn't hear that, you're just going to have to check it out yourself only because the microphone's right here and it's loud in here. So if you want to check out Bean World, there's a website down there, larrymartyr.blogspot.com. Read it because it's indescribable. Thank you very much. Have a great Comic Con. And uh, hello, the person who just joined in the live stream who says I'm Japanese. Real Gone Girl. Flutter. Jenny Wood and Jeff McClellan. How you doing today? Excellent. Hello. I'm good. How about yourself? 
a mature drawing game for immature people. Hmm, interesting. How you doing today? Good. I'm Chris. I have a YouTube channel called Yellow Productions. There's a hundred people on the live stream right now. What do you think they'd like to know about a mature drawing game for immature people? Uh, it's a game that we have on Kickstarter right now. It is a mature 17 and up party game. Uh, so you would have um, your it's, group of friends. Uh -huh. and one person be the judge, and everyone else would be the drawer, so they would all get a whiteboard and a marker. Um, the judge would flip up the cards uh, to make a random scenario, and all of the drawers would then uh, draw their version of that scenario according to the judge cue that's rolled by the dice. Uh, so, for example, if you roll the one, you would have to draw the cutest patriotic fish with the biggest bulge nodes of humanity. So if you roll the one, you'd draw the cutest, most patriotic fish with the biggest bulge known to humanity. And so that is what somebody drawed right there. And they're patriotic because they're talking about America. And for those of you who aren't from the USA, you'll know that real patriots don't have an A in America. It starts with an M and there's a U in it. Okay. And then so somebody draws this and then do people judge it or? Okay. patriotic. He says America. He's so cute. Look at that bulge, etc., etc. So. And then the judge decides who wins after people explain their drawing. Very interesting. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Just for comments. C Dark Knight Zero One says, "Tell them I said hi." So hi. Uh, Riffy Raffy says, "Immature people game." That's funny. And uh, Paige Housen says, "I want that game." Get it. All right, get it on Kickstarter. Right there now on Kickstarter. Dirty draws. Check it out. All right. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Scary Monsters Magazine. A real monster magazine for monster kids by monster kids. <laughs> Jamie says, any Lion Forge comics? I feel like I usually see them at Comic Con, um, but I haven't seen them yet. And Tom and Jerry comics. I don't usually see a lot of Tom and Jerry comics at Comic-Con. That doesn't mean they don't exist. And uh, I do not speak Japanese, and I am from San Diego, California. Paige Housen asks, would you ever travel to Toronto to go to the big expo? Uh, I've never been to Toronto, and uh, but sure, sounds cool. I don't know that I'm going to anytime soon. The next Canadian place I would like to go to is Vancouver. I've heard oh. Vancouver has really good Chinese food. This is cute. It's La Petite Elephant. And Dude115 is giving me a great YouTube reminder, which is don't forget to tell people to like this live stream. If you're enjoying the live stream, I'd totally appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up. We've got 23 thumbs up and 105 people watching. So if you're one of those 105 and you haven't given it a thumbs up, please do. This is a great book right here called You Don't Suck. That's awesome. And uh, hey, I just saw that 23 go up to 33. So everybody that just smashed that like button, I appreciate it, including Sugar Cat. There was a question of whether I've bought anything yet. And yes, I finally bought some things. 
uh, from the uh, Bondi booth, I bought something for a friend. He wanted uh, energy aura from there. And from the booth with the food that I passed earlier this morning, I bought a stuffed hamburger and stuffed french fries. See, Dark Knight says I passed Batman. Hmm. I passed Batman. You want me to come back to see Batman? Batman. There we go. Okay. And then we've got foodie friends. I'm a foodie. Those would probably be my friends. Sticker pack. Jenny Fed asked if I'm going to get a Comic Con shirt. Where are they? I have so many t-shirts and basically I only wear yellow ones when I go on travel. So I don't buy that many t-shirts anymore. But yes, the official Comic Con store is at the Marriott. Phantom Monster. <laughs> I love your booth. Thank you. Yeah. I'm Chris. I have a YouTube channel called Yellow Productions. There are 112 people on the live stream right now. Is Hi. Uh, hello. <laughs> I'm sure they'll say hello back in a moment. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to tell them about Phantom Monster? Just that they're awesome. I don't know what else to say. She also did something else. I'm coming right here. Called me Rube. Hey, Rube. Fight Who fights zombies? Two cooks that travel with the circus. Two cooks that Based travel with the life. circus Based fight zombies. Life. Based on her real life. All right. It's actually live stories. Good deal. That's, right, that's, where, the best stories. that's where the best humor comes from. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Depends which one, huh? Check out the Michael Jackson Thriller poster. Okay, somebody on the live stream says they want me to check out the Michael Jackson Thriller poster. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, it's got swivel hips. Oh, so here's the one in the package. Yeah, but there's one back there. And it has swivel hips. Oh, very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> awesome. And uh, C Dark Knight Zero One says hi. 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 <laughs> All right. Thank you, you too. <laughs> and Jamie Moore says this booth is awesome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Good. Please ask about Flat Ronnie. Flat Ronnie. Please oh, ask right here. Right here. Flat Ronnie. What is the story behind Flat Ronnie? It's a uh, Howard Stern. It might be on you. Okay. So, have him so he can he's just here. Yeah. Like, All right, just yeah, keeping you um, company. Mike Hampton, one of the guys, he does a lot of art for the Stern show. Yeah. So he has the flat Ronnie. Just okay. Like a, what yeah. is your what is your booth called? It's Phantom Monster. Phantom so it's Monster. Mike and Brandon Ruffmonte. Okay. Yeah. Jenny Fed loves Howard Stern and Jamie Moore wants to know is there a name to follow on Instagram? There is. It's uh, Mike Hampton. Phantom. Mike Hampton Art and the Bracca Monster? Yeah, Mike Hampton Art and the Bracca Monster. You can actually see it if you want to take that. It's more important for them to oh, see yeah. it, actually. So, all right. And Jenny Fed, who's going to be here on Sunday, says she will visit your booth. Awesome. All right, we'll cool. There. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right. Jake Wimberly asks, is she single? I don't know, Jake. You are going to have to come and ask her yourself. Ricky Spears says, that's cool. You make me ravenous lately saying burgers and hamburgers. That's good to hear. Uh, Paige asks, how's my battery life? That's kind of the problem with live streaming on YouTube is I can't see my battery life. So I really have no idea. But I'll keep streaming until it dies or the convention closes or I get too thirsty or I can't talk anymore. Whichever one of those comes first or the Wi-Fi gods uh, forsake me. Humanoids, quirk books. <laughs> Gaming with RJ asks, how was lunch? Lunch was good. I actually, I didn't end up at Chipotle. I ended up at uh, this place called Lucky's Lunch Counter, and I had a burger, interestingly enough. 
So there was somebody who said I was boring for eating at Chipotle because it's a chain. And actually I realized this Lucky's was a little closer to my car where I wanted to put back those things that I bought earlier, the stuffed hamburgers, because uh, I couldn't carry them around in live stream. <laughs> <laughs> there was a request to go back to the Snoopy booth. Yes, I will go back to the Snoopy booth. There's Snoopy in the zero gravity plane. It's very cool. Well, Jenny Fed, my pleasure. Jenny Fed says, I'm so awesome and accommodating. It's my pleasure. Faraz says, have you seen any celebrities I guess it depends on the level of the celebrity. Uh, most of the celebrities I see at Comic-Con usually are in the halls, and I haven't been in many panels this year. This is interesting. Ink Pen Mutations Press. How are you doing? Great. I'm also with a famous drag queen, Disasterino. Okay. From I'm season two of the Bully Brothers Dragula. Good deal. You're getting a lot of money. Yeah. That's pretty That's pretty good. By the way, have you seen um, a pixie riding a moth? No, I've not seen a pixie riding a moth. Now, you have. now I have. And so have the 130 other people on the live stream. Yay. Have, you guys want to see a possum penis? Uh, show them a possum penis. Who doesn't want to see a possum penis? Wow. A possum penis. That is something. You guys remember Total Recall? Yes. So remember that dude who was like, oh, you can trust me, I'm a mutant, and he pulls out his, like, mutant arm. Okay. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That is, like, the mutant arm from Total Recall. Yeah. Those are some interesting objects you have in here. Thank you. Yep, it's got seahorses, snakes, octopus, little alligator lizard. Wow. Gecko. Biker fish. This is very unique. Thank you. Jenny Fed on the live stream says you have cool objects, and C Dark Knight Zero One says tell her I said she is cute. Yay! And Paige asks, are they real? Oh yeah, they're all real, and they all have real gemstones. Oh wow! I mean, this is a. They are all real. Raccoon paw. A raccoon paw. Mm -hmm. Wow, good deal. You guys are booth sixteen thirty three. Do you have a website or Instagram or anything? Yeah. Is it Av or Ave? Ave. Yeah. Ave Rose Art. www.averoseart.com. Yeah. All right. Great. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. And Reaper the Symbiote says they look cute. They look cool. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great Comic Con. Hello. Wuxiaworld.com. Chinese, Korean, and Asian style fantasy novels. Tomorrow. We have about 60 series you can read for free. Thank you very much. Uh, here's, wow, these two, those are really cool balloon hats. <laughs> Lady just passed by and said, those are the best balloon hats she's ever seen in her life. Min Cause asks, who kills the animals? I don't know, and I'm not sure that I really want to ask. Out of print, books worn well. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Oh, interesting. These are like t-shirts that have book covers on them. There's Le Petit Prince, Jaws, and some socks based on more out of print books. I'm happy to see 
Elite Gaming asks, are you going to check out Ice Wallow? He will be signing. I've heard good things about his work. Um, I don't know who he is, and I probably won't make it up to the signing, so I probably won't. How are you guys doing today? Good. So I've got 140 people on the live stream on YouTube. Um, what do you want to tell them about Star Comics Entertainment? Uh, you can tell them about Patient M, Somnia Journal, Apparatus. Which one do you think you guys would be interested in? Tell us about Patient M. Patient M is Perry Patient at Vila Pharmaceuticals. He was the subject of Project Methuselah, which was meant to give him the ability to manipulate molecules to give him the ability to cure diseases, look younger, basically become the ultimate human being. But it had a side effect of giving him the ability to manipulate other things' molecules to the effect that he can now transmute objects. Without spoiling too much, he now wants vengeance on Relaf Pharmaceuticals. He wants vengeance on the people who mutated him a little bit, right? Yes. Right. Um, C Dark Knight Zero One says, "Tell them they are awesome." Jenny Fed says, "Nice artwork." Thank so thank you, you very much for your time, guys. gentlemen. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, you too. Don't eat me, chupacabra. Hush now, banshee. Thank you very much. Thomas, which one? And good night, Krampus. Krampus. That is the uh, essentially German equivalent of Santa Claus, who is not friendly and like comes and takes everybody's toys. Hello. How you doing? Good. How about yourself? Yeah, welcome to the, uh, the Eerie Fine Art Booth. The Eerie Fine Art Booth. This is very interesting. Thank you very much. I've got 140 people on the live stream. Oh, sweet. Streaming to YouTube to a channel called Yellow Productions. Oh, hey, guys. I'm Chris. How are you doing, Chris? I'm good. Uh, so tell us about your Eerie artwork. It is quite eerie. Yeah, so, uh, so Daniel, oh. actually. Why don't you get oh, on camera? What's up? Daniel, how you doing? Hello. Uh, I've got 144 people on the live stream right now. Hello, 144 <laughs> people. That's a gross. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a gross. It's that good to know, right? <laughs> Sorry, Matt. <Matthew>. Yeah. <laughs> Your art is very eerie. That's what I do. Yeah. We got eerie in our blood. <laughs> and no longer Toys R Us's or Blockbuster videos, right? <laughs> yeah. Nope, nope. Didn't didn't the last? If there's like one Blockbuster video left, yeah, right? And Oregon, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had a lady from Ben come by earlier. Yeah. <laughs> she she confirmed. Yeah. That's a call. I just I like your sign right here. Oh, thank you. My <laughs> hands are ruined garbage that hurt 24/7, so I can't do sketches. Sorry, but I'll sign anything you want. <laughs> And if you want to follow these guys, uh, you can follow them at Tiny Media Empire. Jenny Fed on the live stream says, we love Eerie Art. His is great. Oh, Repeat the symbiote says, nice art, guys. And Chandley Van Wick wants to know, where do you get your inspiration? I mean, most of it is simply because I'm from New England and I grew up in this place that has a lot of, like, kind of eerie history. And it's got, it's, you know... Some, some stuff has happened there, and it's filled with this all like, this beautiful old architecture and these kind of like decayed buildings and big yeah. quiet still places. And, like, is this based on a um, like abandoned uh, like amusement park or something? Well, the, uh, it, uh, most of the stuff is like kind of a, like, combinations of lots of different things. Okay. So like that is the Ferris wheel is actually the one that's in Pripyat in Chernobyl. Um, and then the other stuff is all made up. Like, it's just, you know, I built something kind of around that Ferris wheel. Yeah. Um, you know, most of these are, like, somewhat real buildings that I've added sort of more fantastic elements to and kind of constructed things and, you know, really screwed up and destroyed. And it's fun to, it's fun to build buildings and then kind of take them all apart and, like, you know, have fun with it. Uh... Question. Yeah. Um, non duality wants to know what media does he work in? These are all silk screens, and the, the final products are all silk screens. Uh, the mediums that I usually work with is clayboard, which is like a really thick surface uh, scratch board. So it's just inking and with a knife carving away and doing like very traditional etching. Then it all gets scanned and colored, and we do all the screen prints from there. That's cool. Thanks. Three final words. See Dark Knight says, tell them nice job. Jenny Fed says, New England is amazing. I've been to Stephen King's house and had yeah. my picture taken in front of it. And Nitesh says, his hair is eerie too. I'm assuming he means yours. Yeah. All right. Good deal. All right. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your time. All right. You too. Here we have hippie comics. Comics by hippies or for hippies? 
Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That goes for both of it. All right. Old school and new school. Old school and new school hippies. Very yeah. good. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. Let's go down this way. Myself, myself says, how long have you been on the live stream for? This live stream has been going for one hour and 25 minutes. Paige Housen says, can you imagine if all your followers were following you around in real life? That would be kind of creepy. That would be a lot of people following me around. Uh, and see, Dark Knight says, ask them if they got Batman. Unfortunately, I am past them now. So, and they were, they were cool enough to chat for a long time. Oh, this is cool. Profiles in History is what this booth is called. And they've got the Wicked Witch right here. Look at that. Michael says, have you done any Star Wars yet? I did Star Wars in the first live stream, uh, which was the two and a half hour one. That's the one that says Exhibitor Hall Tour from yesterday. You can find that. Uh, link in the description below to, uh, I probably spent 10 minutes in the Star Wars booth. See Dark Knight says Spider-Man. Yes, there is Spider-Man right back here. Along with a Star Trek outfit. Cyborg Man says I subscribe for the quality content. Thank you, Cyborg Man. I appreciate it. This booth is the Albino Dragon. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm Chris. I'm live streaming to YouTube. I have 147 people on the live stream right now. All right. Uh, hi. What can you tell us about Albino Dragon? So Albino Dragon. Would you like to see someone else over here? <laughs> we are. We're unwrapping Angel Marium. We're uh, featured on several of Albino Dragon's cards. They have this wonderful ability of. Uh, Making, uh, hiring independent artists to provide artwork either through their independent IPs, which this one's Angelarium, or you'll have some fun, uh, fun ones like this is the Wizard of Oz. Ooh. But they are yeah, cool cards. Yeah. Right. Super supportive. With like awesome challenge coins. We get the collector boxes. We've got this sweet ass mini going on right now. That looks like albino because he's because he's white, albino. right? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, actually, there's going to be a feature on what? Someone else has one. GTM is going to be featuring how to paint white, utilizing the albino dragon logo dragon. All right. So, yeah. Very good. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Natesh Jesty says, "Can you please tell her she is cute?" Oh, well, thank you. Passing that on. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. <laughs> and Macker's tube says she is lovely. <laughs> this is Clever Girl Yesterdays. Looks like a lot of um, pins. You can get a pin that says Weirdo. I probably need the Weirdo pin. That describes me pretty darn well. Or, or you can get an Etsy and a burrito. What kind of burrito is it? It's an a, E.T. burrito. An E.T. burrito. Wow, that is something. See something new every day. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Inky Drop, adorably fresh. These are some interesting stuffed animals. There's a crab apple plush. It is a combination of a crab and an apple. It's a crab apple. It's, are they, are they all crab apples? Is this a pumpkin? No, yeah, some of us are just. <laughs> all right. I think she does not want to be on camera, which is okay. Go back and ask who made the pins. Okay, sugar cat. And I know him as well. Oh, you know him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been in Sugar Cat wanted me to come back and ask who produced the pins. Um, yesterday's, which is a group of artists, and we just make funny puns. <laughs> you make funny pins, a group of artists. Um, NAPS instead of NASA. Nice. 
That's awesome. I like naps. Um, sexy Skeletor. Sexy Skeletor. Um, let's see. The dick banana is very popular. All right. Um, and then if you're an always sunny. Okay. Very good. Yeah, we've got a lot of really good ones. Yesterdays.com. Yesterdays.com. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You want a card right here? Yeah. Sounds good. If you want to check them out, it's yesterday's right there. Yesterday's.com, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you for your time. Yeah, of course. Did I leave my credit card here? Yes, you did. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and see, Dark Knight, I would, except I just left, and somebody just came to retrieve their credit card. No, I met her. She's really the I've heard a lot of horror stories. Somebody said Little Mermaid. Yes, Little Mermaid just passed by. There was a question of if I can go see the Venom panel, and I know there was a question earlier of if you can live stream from panels. They generally frown upon it, so I don't think I can. This is the Darwin Fairies from New Zealand. Interesting. And here is the Trade Commission of Chile. Hello. What book do you have there? This is our catalog from Historieta Chilena because we are from South America. Ah, very good. But also have some samples in Very good. And this is the Italian Trade Agency, Italy at Comic Con. I have 163 people on the live stream right now. Is there anything you'd like to tell them about Italian comic books? Um, yeah, well, uh, we're here, this is the first time we're actually at Comic-Con. Um, we're here promoting some uh, Italian illustrators here, giving them some exposure, um, because the Italian comics are great. <laughs> the, they have the really talented. Um, we're also promoting some um, publishers from Italy as well. Um, so if you're coming to Comic-Con, come visit 5525. Cool. If you want to see Italian books and authors, come see booth 5525. Nitesh Jesti says, I really don't want to ask you this, but I will. Can you ask her where are her wings because she looks like an angel? I'm just passing that on from the live stream. All right. She says thank you. And another one on the live stream says, tell her she's awesome. And ask her if she has any... Uh, no, I'm not going to ask her that question. Thank you. Gigantic Overwatch. Oh, yeah. Europe Comics. All digital, all European. The San Diego Public Library. Blessed day. <laughs> How are you doing today? Blessed be the fruit. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Yippie says she is so uptight. Yeah, they are weirdos. I think they must be doing some, um, hmm, almost, I don't know if that's cosplay or something like that, but I think they are. All right, there was a quest to show video games, and video games was in the title. So I'm going to skip a few rows. And did it six you too? Yes. Uh, Christian says, have you already passed Marvel and DC? I did DC in this live stream earlier, maybe 20 or 30 minutes in, and Marvel, I've been in and around that booth uh, in yesterday's live stream. Wow, this guy's really tall. Look at this guy. Michael Dennis says, there doesn't seem to be a lot of cosplayers. Um, the cosplayers, like the busiest day for cosplayers is Saturday, because Saturday is when they have the, like, most cosplay contests. If you hear a bottle crackling, it's because I'm drinking water. Uh, 
Uh, Riffy Raffy asked, planning any Hall H live stream. Uh, Comic Con frowns on live streams in the big halls. I don't know. And since I don't want to get kicked out, I am not going to be planning any live streams from any of the panels. Dustin Ward says, why are you missing the Sony one right now? Uh, well, you know, it's funny. I was debating whether to do a live stream this afternoon or to go to the Sony panel. And I went to look at the Hall H line and it was massive. Um, so that's why I'm not in there because I thought I would end up just standing in line and not actually getting in. All right, we're here in the video game section. This is Storm Collectibles with some video game collectibles. Here we've got some Mortal Kombat collectibles. Right there, there's Sub-Zero, Scorpion. Christian asks if I've been to the Bandai section. I was in the Bandai section in the live stream yesterday. You can find the link in the description to my playlist of all my Comic-Con 2018 videos. And there's a video in there called uh, Exhibitor Hall Tour that I did yesterday. That one has the Bandai booth. This is uh, some Street Fighter collectibles here. There's M. Bison, Chun-Li in their battle costumes. Dougie Fresh asked if I saw the Walking Dead panels. I did not, because I was doing another live stream this uh, morning. This is King of Fighters, Rugal. And Keo. And then here, we've got some characters from Street Fighter V. Uh, there was a question about the Yu-Gi-Oh part. I don't know, but if you see it as the camera pans, let me know. This is Multiverse Studios. asks if I could find booths that make and sell costumes. There is a booth that make and sell costumes, and I passed that. When did I pass that? I passed it in one of the last two live streams. I know that's a lot of hours and content, but there definitely is one. Uh, I'll maybe try to find that tomorrow when I come through here. Oh, I need to throw my water bottle away, so I'm going to this trash can for a second. Okay, this is the Capcom booth for Raccoon City, Raccoon Police. I'm not sure what's going on here. This looks like looks like some zombies up on there. Resident Evil 2. There was a question about what line capped means. Line capped means they don't let anybody else in the line. 
and Oh, this is the zombie's last thing. Zombies have to sleep too. <laughs> Go to Boom Studios, says Cervero Hernandez. Uh, do you see Boom Studios in the screen that I've showed so far? This is Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Legacy Collection 2. <laughs> Chadley asks, have you seen any My Hero Academia? I have not seen any My Hero Academia. Go to Spider-Man PS4, please. Um, this is the PlayStation booth. I don't know where Spider-Man PS4 is. PlayStation booth is selling some PlayStation T-shirts. They're selling some PlayStation Funko Bops, some PlayStation plushies. Jenny Fed says, please tell my son's friend that high heels are ill-advised at Comic-Con. Uh, to Jenny Fed's son's friend, yes, I would not wear high heels at Comic-Con. You will be doing a lot of walking and there's a lot of people and it's crowded, so I would definitely wear uh, some flat shoes. If you look at most of the people around here, they are wearing sneakers because you'll be doing a lot of walking. Paige Housen asks, have you seen any She-Hulk? I have not seen any She-Hulk. Well, here we've got someone cosplaying with uh, Bob's Burgers and Mega Man. This is the Xbox booth. Mostly selling Xbox merchandise. You can get a big gold Lancer prop replica. Or you can get yourself a Halo helmet. And they're showing some footage from Forza Horizon 4. You know, drive games see to get seem to get better and better every year. Page House asks if I'm a Marvel or DC fan. I'm going to answer that with both. I would say I like both Marvel and DC. Uh, Riffy Raffy says, live stream cosplay on Saturday. It'll be hard to live stream that because um, I need to use a Zoom. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to record that and upload the cosplay on Sunday. So the cosplays will be recorded, but you'll get better quality and zoomed in. You wouldn't really be able to see anything if I was just live streaming it. There was a question of what does Cryptozoic do? Hmm. They have Pickle Rick. That's what they do. Paige says, what's your favorite part about the convention so far? Paige, actually, this year is the first year I've done all these live streams, and so I'd say my favorite part is actually the fact that there's so many people that are watching these live streams. I think it's cool that y'all want to walk with me around here. Caden says, how many famous people have you seen so far? I'm sure I've seen a ton. Um, 
but I haven't counted. Somebody says, there's the Smash logo. All right, I'll check out that booth in a moment. The Bandai booth is for the Dragon Ball Z card game. Uh, Riffy Raffy says, you've been walking around for hours, aren't you tired? I can walk for a long time. Probably my more tired thing is my voice after talking for a while, which is why I'm talking a little quieter today. And um, that uh, I have times where I just don't speak to save my voice. Yesterday, after four hours of talking on live streams, my voice was pretty much shot. Ask if they sell cards at Target or Walmart. I will ask them. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. I have a question for you. I'm doing a live stream. I have 192 people on it. And somebody asked to ask them if they sell their cards at Walmart or Target. I've never seen them there, to be honestly. I would say check your uh, local LGS. Check, check your local LGS. Local game store. So local, local game, game store. store is what I just said. All right. Local, local game store. Cool. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. So no, if you want the Dragon Ball Z cards, they are not at Walmart or Target. Check them out at your local game store. Paige asks, what's your personal energy source? Um, In-N-Out Burger and iced tea? Uh, Ty asks if I've been to any panels. There were some requests for me to live stream from Hall H. I can't live stream in any of the panels here, so I won't be live streaming from any of those places. Uh, and I have not been into any panels yet. Pretty much just been walking around. Tomorrow I'll be in more panels, which means I'll be doing less live streams. And I know that means you'll shed a single tear. Right here is a Dragon Ball Z guy. Edgar says, what are your plans for tonight? My plans for tonight, after the exhibit hall closes, is to check out the Cartoon Network Thing. There's like a Cartoon Network thing in the back of the convention center and they have a cosplay contest at like 8 o'clock. So I'm going to check that out. Here's some Street Fighter characters. And Spider-Man. Ty asks what panels I'll be attending. Uh, tomorrow I'll be attending the Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad, and Kevin Smith. This is Blizzard's booth, where they're selling everything for all the Blizzard games, Overwatch, Starcraft, World of Warcraft. Here's some of the statues that they've got. You can get that big pink thing for $450. You know, buying stuff at Comic-Con is not cheap. Chadley says it's 3.28 a.m. here in Cape Town. Wow, Chadley. Thanks for joining in such a late time. <laughs> Any fans of Sailor Moon? I always love Sailor Moon. I feel like Sailor Moon is like the quintessential Comic-Con character. Super popular 10, 15 years ago. Kind of died off. Paige Housen says it's 9.30 here in Ontario. Hey, just a quick request for folks on the live stream. If you're enjoying the live stream, I would totally appreciate it if you hit that like button. There's 193 of you on the live stream and 59 likes. Would appreciate if you give me some thumbs up if you like this. Here's uh, what, Spawn, Venom? Look at this guy. And if it's your first time to Yellow Productions, make sure to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Thank you, that's awesome. Attention attendees. Make sure to subscribe. The exhibit hall will for... be closing in 30 minutes. Yes. Make sure to subscribe uh, so that you get notified of my future content. Attention coming up this attendees. Weekend. Wow, this is loud. The exhibit hall will be closing in 30 minutes. 
This is the Super Smash Brothers booth. And yes, gaming with RJ. This is just for you. It's the only Fortnite thing I've seen so far, but it's a Fortnite sign. Severo, where is Boom? Like, what's the booth number? Have you seen it? This is the Nintendo Switch booth. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Oh, right on. Thanks. I appreciate it. Which one did you see? Uh, I don't know. It was like an hour and a half. Okay. Uh, it, was, it was a yeah. good one. Yeah. Cool. This one's going on an hour and 52 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right on. You're doing pretty good. Yeah. Man. Cool. You help guide me. So right on. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks for saying hey. Kristen's coming, right? Yeah, he's here, right? He's on vacation here. So, so this is, oh, here's some cosplayers, Willy Wonka and the Golden Ticket. That's cool. I love it. Great cosplay. You guys mind? And this is the Smash booth. There are a lot of people playing Super Smash Brothers. Jenny Fed's got to go eat dinner. Jenny Fed is cool. Eat dinner. Thanks for joining the live streams and for the kind words. And the reason why you're having the coonskin hat is she said, I can only film if there's a person in it. So that's why you see coonskin hat. Okay, Severo, 2229. Yeah, that is far from where I am. I think I'll be ending this live stream uh, here shortly. I'm gonna get this up to maybe two hours, so I'll be ending in about six minutes. Yeah, it is odd. I have no idea why. And let's see, what do we have here? This is the Behemoth Gift Shop. We make games. What kind of games do they make? Paige Housen says, thanks for filming for us. My pleasure, Paige. Thanks for watching. And thanks for all the words of encouragement. Govin says, thanks for showing us inside of Comic-Con, my pleasure. <laughs> Loot Crate is right here. Michael Dennis' best and only live stream. Thank you, Michael Dennis. Uh, the PS4 Spider-Man, I do not see it in my visual area. It may be in a different place. Play selfies. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, there was a question about Rick and Morty. Here's some Rick and Morty, Morty Monster Mayhem. It has individual subscriptions. It has a t-shirt, it has a wearable, it has socks, it has underwear. It has, it has, it has Deadpool Heat Seeker Premium. Oh, somebody asked about Power Rangers. There's a Power Rangers photo booth right here. <laughs> Here's some more things from Elita in the Loot Crate. 
Jennifer says, thanks, enjoy your night. Jennifer, I will do so. Thanks for tuning into the live stream. I left mine at home. I have oh, it. The Osmo I, Mobile? I got it on a, I got it on a, like, giveaway. Yeah. A little giveaway thing. It was on Imager. They had posted this thing. Yeah. And I, it was like, post a comment for why you should get this. And so I posted the comment, because I did photo booth stuff. Uh-huh. And they gave it to me. And I was like, that's insane. Awesome. That's, that's very cool. But I keep forgetting to bring it on trips. That's so a bummer. Well, you should. I need to. Yeah. So I'm going to pull it out and put it in my backpack. And then you'll have it. That's good. All right. Have, have a great a con. Day. Thanks, you too. Michael Dennis says, we'll be watching again tomorrow. That's excellent. I'm happy to hear that. Tomorrow, I will cover the rest of the exhibit hall floor that I haven't covered in the rest of these live streams. So... Um, what is that? This is row like 500 that I'm here at the end with California brown coats. And I stopped at 1600. So that's where I'm going to pick off, uh, pick up tomorrow. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe, click the subscribe button and then click the um, bell to turn on notifications because I don't really know. I don't have a time that I'm going to start. Uh, Eagle Eye says, what time will you be on? I don't know. I will be on some time that Comic Con is on, but it's hard to say just based on traffic and when I get here and whether I can get in all the panels or this and that, but there will be a live stream tomorrow. So subscribe and then click that notification bell so that you get notified when I am streaming live. And Riffy Raffy said he subscribed. Some other people subscribed. So thank you very much. Subscribe. Hit the bell. I will see you tomorrow. And if there were some other live streams, I've got like probably six hours of Comic Con 2018 content by now in the playlist below. So check those out. Uh, Dude115 says bye. Rugis subscribed and hit the bell. Thanks you. Govin says thanks, buddy. See you tomorrow. And as always, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video.